Good Morning Richmond starts now. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. A local campaign is rallying for changes to Virginia's mental health system for treating the youngest patients. And Margaret Nemo Crow is here from Voices from Virginia's Children. You have much more. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. You said that this is something that it can really affect everything down the road. Pay now, pay later. What do you want to see Virginia do? Well, I think the first thing to understand is that children's mental health problems are actually quite common. One in five children actually has a mental health problem. So that means that someone in our families, one of our colleagues, uh, another child in your child's classroom, we all know someone who struggles with a mental health problem. And probably that child's family is having trouble finding services. So our campaign is all about trying to get children access to the mental health treatment that they need. You've actually been in touch with the governor. You've been lobbying for this for a while. And there yeah. are really three changes that you think are pertinent that, you, that we really need to happen right here. Well, there have been years of study about the children's mental health problem. And the three main things that we know need to happen are that we need to increase the availability of community-based treatments throughout Virginia. What's available varies greatly, and there's really a huge absence of crisis-related services. So that is something that we know needs to happen. We also need to have a more coordinated plan to address all children with mental health problems. Right now, the system is very fragmented, and that means it's incredibly confusing for families to figure out where to go to get help. And then finally, back to those families, they really need to be engaged in their children's treatment. And right now, we still have a little bit of a stigma about mental health issues, and we tend to blame parents for for their children's problems when really they're the experts on their children and they should be helping to advise that treatment. And just quickly, you're already getting ready for the next legislative session and you have a petition online. A lot of people are responding to you on there. We have had more than 1,400 Virginians already sign the online petition and I would encourage everyone to do so. Again, one in five children has a mental health problem so it likely affects someone that everyone knows and it's very quick. We can all do something to help and that is to go to the website and sign the online petition to let Governor McDonnell and our legislators know that we care about these children. Well, here's some information if you want to do just that. Voices for Virginia's Children Campaign for Children's Mental Health, their action agenda for 2011 to 2012. That's at WRIC.com. You can go there for more information. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much.